Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the quick look and review of the latest build of Redstone 3, the build of Windows 10 uh, 16.179, released today, April 19th, around 1 p.m. today. So um, if you're in the fast ring, you have build 16.179 for PC available. And if you're on mobile, there was also a release of 15.205. And um, it's uh, interesting to see that the numbers are really far apart. And um, I've posted the uh, on the Insider Channel a nice uh, little uh, video, uh, thinking or you know, kind of giving my opinion and and other people's opinion on what we think and why it's so far apart. Uh, basically, thinking that uh, it might mean that for Windows Mobile, Redstone 3 will never be available. So uh, it was released today. I've installed it on both my Pro and Home computer, of course. So that means that I've been uh, trying it out. The install and download, everything went well. No glitches, no problems. Uh, it did seem like a long install, personally. But uh, you know, lately these builds seem to, have, to take long to, much longer to install. Now I wanted to measure the download and I, I was not able to do so but one of the things that seemed to be really fast is how the download was and it was in really amazingly fast uh, but I would have had to uh, do a little something to measure that and so I have no idea exactly what was the size of the download. Um, next build I will of course measure it because like I said we, were, we, we should be in the universal update platform and it would be interesting to know that. So install went well, no blue screens, no problems, everything is okay. But once again, a build that doesn't have really uh, much of anything in it. Uh, what's new in here? Things that we don't really see, basically. Um, first of all, they've uh, basically, in this build, uh, continuing with the team of simplifying Hyper-V for developers. If you are a virtual machine uh, user with Hyper-V and everything uh, and they're introducing automatic checkpoints so that you always be able to undo a mistake in your virtual machine so uh, you can always revert to the last time you started a virtual machine if you want so also uh, they have power throttling that is making a comeback uh, in build 15002 they had added a new feature called power, power throttling and typically you could see that probably in the task manager by looking at the different process of the power throttling feature. Uh, the power throttling feature is there to try to make uh, saving more CPU power consumption. So it concentrates where Windows needs to put its you know resource and tries to lower or eliminate resources that are not needed and this feature was removed because it was kind of not really working well in the first version they had in 15,002 and now they're bringing it back they kind of uh, you know tweaked it worked it a little more and they say that um, it, it, it should show us that the battery uh, consumption will not be as um, you know as high as before and it should actually work now, power throttling is a temporary name for this. They will have a specific name for it coming eventually in the release of Windows 10. Apart from that, I've been using it now for, uh, what, it's 8 p.m. local here. So I've been using it um, for a good uh, five hours, a good f five hours. Um, and uh, I got to say that hasn't crashed, hasn't done anything. I went to... Uh, websites I've done lots of things uh, works really really well uh, synchronization works well it still of course give us the information of well this is creators update uh, I haven't had any glitches um, you know it seems to be another very stable build yet uh, you know Microsoft um, really warns us that there are some uh, things that were uh, that are broken in here that's very important to um, to really know about it 
And you know, they're still tweaking the one core to make sure that it works well with pretty much uh, everything in here. Uh, in the uh, steps of what's broken, what's fixed, they fixed a certain number of things. The uh, Centennial desktop bridge is fixed. Fixed issues are for indie language issues. Uh, they also have um, uh, the uh, existing group policy uh, to disable the lock screen is now available for those on the Pro edition of Windows 10. So um, fixed rendering issues from previous flights where specific multi-monitor and projection configuration would fail. I did not see this because I do have multi-monitor here, but um, it, it, I didn't have that problem personally. And they fix an issue location icon being continually in the taskbar uh, and visible in the uh, action center. Apart from that, there's uh, quite a few issues like uh, some insiders reported that updates were canceled. Um, so there's a forum post. This is an old problem that's still there. Double clicking the Defender icon does not open Windows Defender. You got to right click. This is something known for a while. It's even in Creator's Update. Uh, F12, Dev Tool, and Microsoft Edge um, might not work well or return to focus. Tab F12. Uh, there's uh, Surface 3 devices that fail to update if a SD memory card is installed. Um, what else do we have that's uh, broken here? Simplified Chinese has problems. Uh, navigating to update security. Windows Update may crash the Settings app. So if you go to Windows Update uh, to check for an update and crashes, simply reopen the Settings app again and it should work. And the Save dialog box appears to be broken in several desktop Win32 apps. So uh, they're investigating. So if you have some Win32 programs that you have to save as uh, in or save in uh, Windows, it might actually be broken. Uh, actually, so uh, just uh, make sure that uh, you know about it because they're investigating why it's happening. Apart from that, no issues. Works well. Haven't had any problems. Uh, like I said, uh, seems to be a, a, a good build for me. But of course, you know, no new, really no big new features that are visible that are really cool that you can look at. So um, if you're w waiting for that, we're not there yet. So, uh, you know, we're uh, slowly getting more builds and uh, we will, of course, be uh, getting features eventually. Uh, our idea is that, you know, at build May 12th, around mid-May, we might have some new features, some real interesting features that are visible that we could uh, look at and use. So uh, that's going to be cool. And, uh, you know, for those that have taken a break off the uh, Windows Insider, I think it's okay because, you know, there's really nothing much here happening right now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Thank you for watching.